best place to park my, my top leaf? Okay, good question. Huh? Uh, usually, uh, when you are uh, this, this is a very popular question. In Jurong Island, uh, the area is very big. Jurong Island. So what happens is, this guy morning shift, uh, he finish work, uh, uh, he drives his forklift, go to his local room. Near his local room there, then he need to shower. So he park his forklift there. Later he take a company bus, he go back. Second shift come, he looking for his forklift. He go around all of Jurong Island. By the time, 5 o'clock already. Punch card, go back, never work. Cannot find the forklift. Because in the Jurong Island, the warehouses are quite big. No? So I mean, your, call, your, your question is very related. Everybody find their own comfortable area to go and park the forklift. Some even park at the door there. People open the office door, uh, the, the office girl come, you open the door, you come out, need for me, bam, cannot leg. Some park in the exit there. Uh, all these uh, uh, fire extinguishers and all. So I think these are not the right place. The right place will be a designated safe area, common area, where everybody knows. Maybe you need to draw a yellow line, then tell them this is a public parking area, safe place, hiding and taking over here. Okay? If you're going to park your your forklift uh, at this spot and then your lorry also park here so one day uh, your lorry leaking uh, the oil leaking uh, then you think hey maybe forklift they will repair the forklift so it must be a designated safe area okay that means maybe draw a yellow box like I said okay forklift here maybe trucks are here uh, at the same time you cannot park on an incline uh. incline means on a slope uh. because you talk about parking some places are uh, company they got no space so what they do, they will park on the slope, right? Okay, so you park, then you go off. Then next morning you come, you look for the forklift. Hey, where the forklift? Forklift went for a deep He went to the canteen. Why? Because in the night, uh, the brakes are, uh, the oil give way, hydraulics leaking, the forklift slowly move down, go down. You understand? So never park on an incline. But if you need to park, then how? Then you need to chop it. Uh. Maybe you put some wooden slab, you know, the tires and block it. Uh. In Defu Lane, uh, there is some forklift park on, a, on an incline, but no choice after the factory very small. They park on the slope. Then you need to put a chalk there. Uh, this is a wooden pack that you push under the tires. So at least there is grip on the uh, tires that uh, you don't pull down. Okay? Huh? Any specific way to park? Should I front go in, back go in? Okay, so actually your question is related to procedure, uh, how yeah. you should park the forklift, is it? Oh, okay, good. Right. So, uh, you, if you want to park a forklift, this is the designated area. So as you get into this area, the first thing you do is gears neutral. Gears neutral and pull your handbrake. Okay, after that, you get your fork uh, tilted at an angle. Angle, then lower it down, touch the floor. Okay, after you touch the floor, you check your tires, whether your tires are straight. Because the next guy could sit on the forklift, the tires are like that. Then when he move, he bam, hit them. So tires are all okay. Park straight. Off. Engine. Take up the key. Uh, unfasten your seat belt. Then you can uh, bring your keys to the key press or what. So the procedure is you need to first, either your gears are neutral, your handbrake are fastened. So do on your left side now. No fast move. Anything that like you can do. Uh, gears neutral, handbrake first or handbrake first, gears neutral. So left side first. Then fork. Why you need to tilt the fork? You need to tilt the fork because this fork will give a grip onto the ground, press onto the ground. In case your machine, uh, the hydraulics give way on the brake, so you will not start to move. Uh. That's why you need to give grip on the ground. Okay, then you lower it on the floor. Okay, so off engine, then you're done. So these are basic principles. It's a good question, but you're not, you not have to worry. Why? Because we will do a lot of this practical practice <coughs> uh, at our uh, practical test area. So prior to your, your checks, after you drive, you need to park. So this is also included in your test. Uh. We will watch uh, in case you miss handbrake or you never put gas to neutral, we will deduct that points. Uh. So I think it's a good question. Every body should park in a safe and orderly manner. Okay, uh, so I will go through with you when I do the practical session.